the plan for today's video is to grind so we need to head back out to desert find a cave load up on bright core get some more copper and then just go to town all right rocking up to a cave with almost two stacks of raw amber that's gonna be awesome and we need to get a lot of rubies as well all right let's see how good this cave is oh yeah oh yeah Ooh, that's also really nice we have a lot of work ahead of us but this is why we're here and i'm sorry to interrupt your content but i gotta plug g fuel real quick it's my favorite energy drink it's the only thing keeping me going for making all these gods it's also great for fueling your gaming grind so please check it out we got tons of great flavors also you can check the on sale page get a little bit of savings and then use code verlicify for 20 percent off your entire order thanks for sticking around the thing that fascinates me most about gaming is how comfort develops over the course of playing a new game. Like the first time you go into the cave, you look at all this and just go, oh, no, nah. like those resources are cool, but there's no way. How am I going to mine things on the roof? And you just do it. It's like, yeah, I build scaffold and then I come back a little stronger. Now it's easy. What in the world? That's new. I didn't know there were like extra areas in the caves that you could break through. Oh, dude, it's an actual treasure room. That's spicy. Yeah, one thing I'm definitely not taking enough advantage. Dynamite, where'd you go? Oh, fuck. I definitely haven't been taking enough advantage of dynamite and people throwing dynamite at resources. The thing is, I got lazy with these pickaxes because they're super easy to make. It's just obsidian and the pine. So that's easy. But yeah, we could have saved a little bit of durability. All right, let's get facing home, and yeah, that was a pretty successful run. Two pickaxes wasn't quite enough to, like, fully fill up. I think we could have gotten a bit more obsidian, and also it's always great to have max of bright core, so we're going to see how long this lasts. Hopefully it's all we need. We just do the rest of the, everything with iron, good to go. We got five blast cores, really nice. Two stacks of amber, so that's going to be good for durability. And then everything else is easy to make. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is I want to get some iron smelting. See what we can do with all of the iron bars. But at least we are good on bright core. And then I, I said I wasn't going to be terrible with chests. But we have to initially be terrible with chests. So I can dump off this inventory. And then we can go into a smaller cave. And everything else should be good from there. All right, let's get a full stack of granite slabs going, and boom, like, the pickaxe. Oh, it's so nice. It's so easy. I think I'm just going to use an entire one of these pickaxes. We're going to chew through these other axes. We got tons of copper now, so it's okay if this one breaks. I don't exploit. Cheating is wrong, kids. And then we can use the stairway to get to that cave. And, I'm yeah, I'm just going to... We're just going to full send it for a big mining journey. And hopefully, I never have to worry about not root ever again. Whoa. Never seen a cave like this before. That's fancy. Oh no, unfortunately I tunneled and I made a big mistake. I forgot to get flexwood on the way out of the desert and I even had the inventory sl slots and no pickaxe. So I could have just used the axes I had. So far the uh, caves in the grasslands looking good. So if I see one of those can top off with a little bit of extra knot root. But now we are headed towards the desert. All right, it's dopamine time, upgrading village. Boom, already into level four. Now we need to make some rods and slabs. Also, a bed for the homie out here. And then we can have this dude join. Awesome. What kind of resources are we at for the jobs? All right, help the village, resource jobs, sick. So we can start with just like refining everything. So get some stone refining. That'll help us out. And then we need to keep on upgrading. And we got a lot of stacks of everything. We got five stacks of flex wood, six of marble, and then three of, actually no, even like four of knot root, but we also have a full stack in here making the rods. And then when we get the processing, the rods will be good. It's mostly just those raw resources that pop up where it's like, oh, you need a, not root log and you need obsidian instead of the slabs and the rods and stuff so we'll plan on that and then we can see how the chests are looking i don't think i'll ever get fancy enough for that copper that for chest nah this was fine so this is what we can use our not root on as well and then we got slabs and now we can actually like start building 
But that means we need wood. We're gonna load it up, and then we are going to just come back with tons of wood and maybe some granite, and then that's how we're going to fully expand out the village, give everything its own nice, neat little workstation and area, and then I can play the game. I love survival crafting. All right, let's grab our iron. That's gonna unlock some stuff. Ooh, the recurve crossbow. An epic shovel. I haven't even touched the shovel yet. Uh, we have this. This just seems like the best three copper bar for the forest axe. And then we already have our pickaxe. So yeah, it's just forest axe. Come back with tons of resources. Should be good to go. Everything else kind of popping off. We do need to get another enchanting set station set up. Flex wood, amber. Easy. Okay, so my vision for a good village foundation is just like a wall of all of the buildings and resources on one side, and then we can kind of expand it out from there to make it look prettier. Can you... No, it doesn't look like you can snap these buildings together, which is a thing that people are like complaining about. But you can snap it with the basic one. So yeah, I'm just putting down like a whatever building foundation and it seems like it's still going. So there we go. We can level this out. Not bad. Okay, I lied. The stone breaker is going to want the big chest. Oh yeah. And I'm probably going to do one for the lumber mill as well. So we just need to go and get a few more pieces of frost pine. <sighs> I've been hard at work, but you gotta love it when a plan comes together. So we need to grab some knot root. Reason why we need knot root is so we can make another one of these chests. And that's why we also have marble going over here. Boom. Chest. Gonna put that in front of the crafting table. What goes in the crafting table chest? All of our claws and all of our miscellaneous resources that will be used for crafting or can be used for crafting. So boom, we got that. Next up, we have the gem cutting table. So we can go drop off these resources. We are good on amber and ruby. Heading back to the caves for sapphire soon. We also have all of these copper bars. So we go back to our village for the upgrade. We actually don't have enough also frost pine. Whoever in the comments said, oh, just build one of everything and that's all you need and you don't have to spam lumber mills. They were wrong because I have all of this set up and I'm like actually building out the village and we're not even close. All right, and for all the beds, let's build a pleasant pavilion. It doesn't need to really be anywhere. Uh, cool, let's start this thing and we'll see if it actually does anything meaningful to our village score. Okay, the pleasant pavilion puts in work and then we can also fill that out with beds and everything should be good. Upgrade level eight, frost pine rods, malachite iron bars. Okay, so building villages in different places requires different materials. My goodness though, 15 iron bars. Also, I need to reassign some beds. Malachite slab, 20 iron bars, 20 rough sapphire. Oh no, this is gonna take everything and I'm kind of scared because that's not looking great. Hey, that means it's also time to go out and get even more resources. So I think that's pretty much going to be it for this video. We are going into the late game, but I do want to have some fun. So yeah, let's let's just make a ton of dynamite and then we're just going to blow up the first brute we see because I'm like, I'm trying to get resources, trying to show like some other things we're doing here. Um, Yeah, I think we actually have to go back to the desert though for just a full inventory of blast core, like three pickaxes. It's kind of absurd. Why is it when you don't want to fight a brute, they're everywhere, but when you're trying to look for one, you can't find them? It's kind of wild. Oh man, this is... This is going to be a fight. I only brought two dynamite because it says 16 damage and the bow seems to be as much damage. So maybe we just like... Lead with some dynamite and hope for the best. Oh. Did that hit him? Boom! Oh, now... Ouchies. Alright, looking alright here. Ooh, he's on me and not my ally. That's not good. Oh, he's gonna smash. That's fine. And also, yeah, like, I wanted to do all the resource farming, but no. It's not even an ice brute, either. Like, we're still pumping shots into him, like, forever. 
All right, triple durability on the bow and then bring like 100 arrows and we should be good to go. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you all have a nice day. Thank you very much for watching.